Welcome back or to this week's weekly vlog if it's the first time stopping by the channel. Um, my name is Dawn, I'm a British expat from Manchester which is the northwest of England and for over 20 years I've been living in the Netherlands uh, just on the border of Amsterdam with my partner Lawrence, our two sons Josh and William and our little furry critters Jack who's Parsons Terrier and Daxter who's our very fluffy ginger Tom Cat. So uh, formalities over, everybody's welcome here and if you're an OG returning viewer, uh, welcome back guys. I hope everybody has had a good week. So um, you might have seen some footage, hopefully uh, Lawrence and I have been to Utrecht um, for the day yeah, for the day. Uh, we got up this morning, we've given the ground floor a good clean, everything's dusted and vacuumed and polished and so that's one big chore off the list because it was getting quite messy here in the house. Um, and then after that we got showered, went out, went to our favourite uh, bakery, it's a South African bakery in the centre of Utrecht. Um, we had a burrowals roll, uh, a slice of milk tart, uh, and then we had a wander round, wasn't really intending to shop, I have bought something, I will show you. And then uh, we've just arrived home, so um, I've got a mountain of laundry to get onto. Boys and big boys need um, hockey and football kits for the morning, so that's all on the go. Um, and um, I don't know where the boys are actually, Josh went to Amsterdam last night. I've no idea what time we got home, and um, William's probably out. It's about quarter to five here, so around six they'll probably surface and ask to be fed. So anyway, what did I buy? Um, I really needed a new pair of um, like comfortable shoes. Um, so I popped into the uh, Gabor uh, store and I just wanted like white leather, you know, like um, trainers kind of thing, just comfortable. And I like the ball because they do different uh, width uh, sizes. And um, so I've ended up, I've got these. So they're just plain white lace up and they've got the zip uh, up the side. Um, I have pretty wide feet. So I've got this in, in their size, a H width. So I've tried them on, very comfortable. Uh, and not too, I always have a problem with the back of these shoes. Sometimes they're a bit hard. So this is nice and soft. So um, yeah, super happy with them. I don't remember how much I paid for them. Have I got my glasses? Maybe. Because I bought um, a couple of other things. I bought like a like a cleaner, colour colour activation and cleaning, like a cream. And then also this is like um, like leather and textile um, paint, it's like fabric paint, white. But um, also, this is for the boys of white shoes trainers. So I don't know how much I paid for it. Have I got the receipt here? No, because we went, we went to okay, we went to the media mart and bought some cables. Uh, so the shoes were a hundred and thirty-five euro, and I think for a, it's a very nice brand, very good quality, and they're leather. So I think that's um, that's not a bad price. I mean, I'd have, paid, I'd have spent more than that on a pair of Adidas or Nike and they won't be anywhere near as comfortable. So, yeah, if you if you struggle with with um, widths, um, then, you know, I think they do uh, an even wider one. So it would be like an extra, extra wide. It's like the K size. So, um, yeah, and they've got, they do all nice sparkly gold blitzy blingy 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 but i just want it plain white and i've never had a pair of shoes that zip up at the side but anyway so there you go that's my my purchase and they'll last me a good while um right i'm going to stop waffling i've got the dryer on so i need to fold up everything what's in put a new load in the dryer today we have Free, electric, free electricity today from our energy provider. I don't know why. I think because of all the cutbacks, I think people are not spending as much on um, energy. So I think they're trying to entice us to use energy again. Lawrence, how much, when the energy... Uh, I think it's when the sun, then they get uh, lower, they, they generate better electricity. 
So that's why we get another. But when it was the um, energy crisis last year, what was we paying? 76 euro cents a, a kilowatt. 76 cents a kilowatt. And how and much are we paying now? 27. 27. How well, it ranges, it ranges because we play fluctuate. So we pay, the lowest is uh, 0 plus 17 or uh, 10 plus 17. I don't know if you heard any of that, it doesn't make sense to me. But the point is, uh, when we really needed energy and it was cold and winter and all the rest of it, we were paying 50 cents more than we are now. Isn't that disgusting? Just goes to show, doesn't it? Right, I'm gonna stop waffling. Uh, let's start this week's uh, weekly vlog. See you in a while. Hello, it's Sunday, uh, midday. I'm very hungry, I'm gonna have a bite to eat. Um, Lawrence is at hockey, Josh was at football. William's got up. Uh, he's, I think he's showered. I heard music um, a while ago, so he'll probably come down and um, disappear. I think he's working this evening. Uh, I've got the house to myself for a couple of hours, but I think they're all due back maybe in an hour or two. Um, so this morning, well, actually last night we left the house. <laughs> we, <laughs> we don't go out in the evening. Even when we do occasionally go out for dinner, um, by nine o'clock, I am absolutely exhausted and um, I'm saying to Lawrence can we go home now I'm done anyway last night um Ali who some of you will know from the vlog um Ali at me and she said oh what are you guys doing um we sat home just the two of us and we were just talking about you and said not seeing you both for ages uh if you fancy it you know pop on over so I said to Lawrence oh do you fancy going out and he said yeah come on let's get out so um we didn't stay long it was a couple of hours I actually had a coffee we both had coffee we were offered a cheeky glass of wine and a beer and we both said no we were tired after our day out in Utrecht and um we just caught up sadly they um they had to uh, put one of their little fur babies to sleep uh, in the week so uh, one of their uh, their first cat actually i remember when they got him rico so um it was nice to just catch up and see how they're doing and of course they're very sad i mean it's a loved family member but last time i saw him he, he just didn't look well at all so um yeah it was definitely time you know they did the right thing and um he's got a little sunny spot in their back garden and they're going to plant some nice um, flowers on top of him so that'll be nice if you've not got pets you probably think that's bonkers but I think it's nice to do um so yeah we pop around there and then this morning um I had a quiet start to the morning um Lawrence had you know he's gone out now and I've been doing a bit of knitting and I am so so chuffed with myself if you don't knit you're probably rolling your eyes now and fast forward it's fine if you watched um I think it was last week's yeah it would have been in last week's vlog on Friday I went for lunch with my friend Nicola who's an avid knitter and um we were just chit-chatting about everything knitting and crochet related she's a crocheter as well and one of the things we were talking about was I would love to learn how to continental pearl or pick you know I, I can do I do continental knitting it's pretty much the only style of knitting that I do these days I learn English and um, style you know where you throw it over but I've just not been able to master pearl and um, so Nicola was saying the same thing. She said, yeah, you know, it would be really handy, but I just can't, it just doesn't feel right in your brain. Anyway, this morning, um, I'm knitting on the second sock of a pair and I'm doing the heel flap. And um, I like to do the um, knit pearl, you know, like the, ri the ribbed, um, like the knit slip and then pearl on the back. And I thought, you know what? It's quiet, you're feeling relaxed. And guess what? I learnt to um, continental pearl. I'm so happy with it. My tension is really tight. And it's the opposite when I learnt to continental knit. It was My tension was really loose. And my pearling is very tight. But um, I've in no time at all, something just clicked in my brain. I watched quite a lot of YouTube videos. Something just clicked. The way I hold my finger, I stopped following the videos. And just I thought, I'm, I'm just going to... Because I hold my pen's a little bit wonky as well. And I thought, just... You know the motion, you know which way you've got to pull the yarn through or put it over. Just figure out how it feels comfortable. So I did and um, I'm off. I've done it. So it's going to it's gonna open up a whole new world of knitting patterns for me because I detest purling. But if I can continental purl, 
that's a bit that's a game changer that's a different ball game so anyway that was a long waffle about uh, what i did this morning and then i've just filmed hopefully you would have seen it if not i'll put a link below well there's always a link below to the woven almanac channel which is my crafty podcast um a couple of weeks ago now um a kit arrived that I was very kindly gifted. So it's not a collaboration. It, it, um, it wasn't a sponsored video. I don't have a discount code, nothing. I wasn't even asked to film anything. It was literally just gifted, which does, it happens, you know, um, more often than, you know, you, you guys are aware. And if I don't feel it's something that, it, it, even sometimes, um, so more often than not, they're not gifts that companies reach out and ask, would you like to review a, pr a product and in return you give them um, a review on social media you do a couple of social media posts and then sometimes they'll also say if your viewers want to buy the product um, we'll give you a discount code and I, I do get offered um, a fair few amount of these um, collabs kind of thing and I, I only go to products that I'm, I'm genuinely interested in and um, I think my viewers would be interested in so most of what I've ever done and I think they're mainly on the podcast channel are craft related so a, f a couple of times I think I've been I was offered like household products and there was a couple of things that they had that I was like kitchen gadgets that I was like oh I fancy that um I've been offered uh reading glasses sunglasses and you know when I've checked them out not really my thing so anyway what I'm trying to say is this company who offered me uh, the craft kit is actually, um, they don't want anything in return. They've offered it as a gift. I said yes, because I've been after one of their kits for ages. So I'm thrilled to bits. Anyway, so I've just filmed. I've just, in case you want to know what it is, I won't, well, I'll, I'll show you what it is. I won't tell you what it is. Maybe you can see. Um, head on over to the Wave and I'm on a channel and I literally unboxed it with you. Well, not with you. Some of you guys have watched it. And I can't, I'm itching to get started. The quality is amazing. Um, I will do, I don't even think I follow them on social media, this company. It's got, it's called Cute to Be. Actually, I should do that. that. How rude of me. I should take a photo and um, tag them. I should go and follow them on social media. They didn't even ask me to do that. Okay, well, <laughs> anyway, that was easy. We like gifts, especially gifts that we really, really, really want. Right, uh, I'm going to make something to eat. I'm just looking at the kitchen. It's a bit messy, but I don't feel like doing anything. Um, Lawrence will probably be home around three-ish. Will we go out? I don't know. I think we were both tired yesterday. It was a long day. So um, this week, the work week, what have I got on? Monday, I have to go to the office. I've got um, a couple of meetings on. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to the skin clinic what i'm thinking i might do with that i might actually do a separate video obviously i'm going to tell you guys how it goes because yeah it's the vlog but i might just um make one video where it's only about the um if i do the laser because um i don't know if if you've not been around for a while um i had a, an eyelid uh, reduction surgery and um, i'll try and remember to put a link below or maybe on the screen somewhere and um I, I I filmed one week, so the day I went and had the procedure, and then my daily recovery for the, for one week, and um, that that oh my gosh, that's had I don't even know how many views, thousands of views, because people, you know, people do a lot of research before they have these kind of procedures done, and that was the reason for doing it. So I might do that for the laser. I might, um, yeah, I think I will do that. But obviously, if you're watching the vlog, then I'll talk about it in the vlog. Uh, and then what else? I thought something was going on on Friday. And I forget now. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to have something to eat. And I think I'm going to sit uh, on the sofa and watch a bit of YouTube and do some knitting. Hurrah. That's how it is in my life. It's all rock and roll here. I'll catch you in a while. Good morning. I'm driving through the National Park, which is called Amsterdam Subbos. Amsterdam Subbos. On the way to work. Uh, if you're new, this is my regular journey once or twice a week. Although I've not been to the office for a couple of weeks. Definitely didn't go last week because I had a bad back. I think I mentioned that. Anyway, my back's doing much better. I think I must have just sat funny on it 
and a mixture with cold and sitting too long and anyway um hopefully i've not got a crazy busy meeting day i've got quite a few meetings in the afternoon sorry it's quite noisy because i'm going over these speed control uh, cobbles and groups sorry about this not very professional is it and it's it's spitting it's it's starting to rain we had lovely weather all last week not too bad over the weekend and then yesterday it rained all day and it looks like the same again for today it's like what's going on with the weather and it's um oh it was seven degrees when i left the house and now it's eight degrees there's another one of these e-bikes going through the box sorry there was a guy i was struck behind a guy on a bike for quite a while or quite a way and the speed limit here is 60 60 kilometers an hour so and now i've just seen two uh, two of these e-bikes cycling through here but they've got their own cycle paths so it's like where are they you know the, the police enforce you for the most ridiculous things and now you've got bikes who can do top speed of like 30 40 cycling in the 60, 60 zone I'm sorry it just annoys me Ugh. anyway i'm not stuck behind one now but it looks like i don't know it looks like there must be some kind of change in the law to see two you never see bikes cycling on the road here because there's actually signs up everywhere saying no bikes i'll have to pay attention if they've taken them down then anyway waffle waffle um Yes, so last night I just sat on the sofa and we watched Married at First Sight uh, Australia, which is really getting good. It's very juicy. And the British um, Big Brother, which is also good. Um, I've not watched that for years. And actually throwing Sharon Osbourne and Louis Walsh in the mix has been thoroughly entertaining. Although, you know, you get these divides have started already and they're turning against each other. And then, you know... And there's this outrage and wokeness and oh irritates me anyway um and then um this morning i had an sms sms from the um skin clinic indeed confirming my appointment for tomorrow so it's all on guys that's gonna be um interesting uh, i also watched a little only a little bit of youtube uh last night Lawrence, um, I started making dinner and then Lawrence finished it off. Um, and I managed to catch up. I saw one of Ellie, uh, little, uh, Craft House Magic's videos and Davina's little work, work room crafts. Is it Davina's channel? Sorry, I'm not with it this morning. Um, and they'd both been to the East Anglia Yarn Festival or Yarn Show. I don't know if it's a festival or a show. And they were showing um, all the goodies and bits and bobs that they bought. It's very interesting because I've only ever been to one yarn show or festival, and that was Yarndale last year. Because I didn't, um, I didn't knit or crochet when I lived in the UK, and now I don't live there, and I love to knit and crochet. I would absolutely love all these yarn shows, but alas, I have to visit them vicariously through YouTube. Um, and content creators <laughs> but yeah it was nice um, Ellie's shown um, a sock tube sorry if you don't knit you'll have no idea what I'm on about I think it was uh, from Ducky Darlings oh my gosh the colour was like it was really nice and then I thought Dawn you've got all that wool you need to start shopping from your own stash it's like an addiction if you're a knitter or a crocheter or a crafter do you have that you just can't stop buying, can you? Anyway, talking of crafting, my book nook uh, video uploaded this morning over on the Woven Almanac channel. And um, I saw there was already a couple of comments. Uh, I didn't have time to read them properly, so I'm sorry. I don't know who they were from. Uh, gosh, every time Lawrence gets in the car, he messes with the dash and he turns the um, speedo off. Why do I need to know what the tyre pressures are? Um, yes, I. Uh, there was a couple of comments already and the gist of it was, I think somebody said that they'd done some of these, the, those craft kits before. 
which was really interesting. So I could read them tonight when I get home. Uh, and then I think somebody said they'd always wanted a dollhouse, but they haven't got room. So Bucknell's up's a great alternative. Yes, it is. So yeah, um, if you're not sick of me already by the end of this vlog, bob on over to the Woven Elm and I can have a look at that Bucknell kit. Book nut <laughs> it's a mouthful. I was itching to start it yesterday. I was itching to. But um yeah, by the time I finished work and then it was going dark and then as I said I started dinner. So I thought no no. And I won't be able to do it tomorrow afternoon because I'm going to the clinic. But uh, yeah, maybe this weekend it looks really nice. And when I opened it and saw how um well made it is um sorry i'm seeing like exhaust fumes i don't know if they're coming from my car no they're not i'm starting to get a bit worried then it maybe it's the cold um because the cold and hot air as well so oh, no not the exhaust it's always something isn't there and obviously we haven't got an electric car um anyway so yeah i'm itching to start this book nook but um i will refrain i will refrain and i will restrain myself Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling now because I'm going to go on the motorway. The traffic's been quite bad, actually. Well, not ba not busy, just slow. Very slow. So hopefully the motorway is not a reflection. Hopefully it's not a reflection of how the motorway is going to be. Oh, she can tell I'm tired. Right, I am going to stop waffling. I'll catch you in a while. Oh, my gosh. I'm in the twilight zone. I'm literally... I've had to take three different detours to get me get myself into the village in time for this skin appointment i don't know what's going on because i live in the um the east east side and i have to get over to the west side of the village for my appointment and there's like quite a busy main road that cuts the east and west in half and um every little road I went down to get over the main road was just gridlock so something's I don't know if it's an accident or something must have happened it's really strange or maybe it could well be if you've been around for a while you'll know that there is there's a quite a big bridge going over the canal there and sometimes the film was going under it and sometimes the film was sat at the traffic lights there because you can see the bridge lifting up um, and down so maybe there's some like big cruise liner or something because the canal there is really deep so maybe something's been moved i actually saw on youtube that um one of the big yacht one of the big yacht builders um posted a video uh this week or last week of a huge like a super yacht uh, coming out and technically that shouldn't impact oh come on oh, zebra crossing seriously you couldn't make this up normally the village is dead on a Wednesday afternoon because most of the kids and parents have got they're at home or on play dates or at indoor playgrounds I'm hoping, I'm hoping stupidly, I, I didn't check, sorry, I'm going over cobbles, that's why the car's shaking. I didn't check exactly where the clinic is. So I'm on autopilot driving to where I think the clinic is, but I could be totally wrong. If I'm totally wrong, <laughs> then I'm really late, but I'll just phone them. At least there's loads of parking. Yeah, because, I mean, there should be loads of parking in the village because it's, it's not really uh, a busy day strange anyway right i'm here now right and i think i've just got like a two minute road down to the end of the street surprisingly it's windy and cold and the windmill's not on today so i'm just putting my uh, seat back right um i'll come back on and let you know how i get on see you in a while
Okay, I'm back. William's home from school. Um, and he's having pizza from last night. Uh, what I've done, just before I left, I sat down at the table because the lighting was a bit better then. And I filmed a close-up of the veins. So, um, in uh, one month's time, I'm going to go back again and we'll see how it works. So, I, in about four weeks, I'll put out a video only dedicated to how I got on. But, um, yeah, it's just it, it just feels a bit sunburned. So, she said every 10 minutes to, uh, to every hour, just maybe put like a little ice pack on it for 10 minutes. And uh, it'll be red. I may be a bit swollen for a few days. So I've not not actually had a proper look at it yet. Uh, she said it'd be like um, somebody pinging an elastic band on my face. And that's what it was. So it wasn't pleasant. And I had black goggles on. But anyway, I will talk about it more in the uh, video. Whilst I was in the village, I needed a few things. I needed to get some bread rolls. Because, you know, the kids like bread rolls instead of square bread for sandwiches and stuff. And then I got this and it, I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> I thought it was a clothes brush. Hand borstal. That's right, Will. Hand borstal is a... Yeah, it is. It's got silicone on it. Well, anyway, for Daxter, because he's shedding like mad at the moment. Can't keep on top of it. Uh, and then from the blocker, I got these really cute little... Uh, little eggs and from the Hamer uh, they had like little clear glass little eggs got a bit mad with the eggs uh, and then I also I left um I left my dark green cardigan at Maureen Daniels uh, Lawrence's cousin who lives in Antwerp before Christmas and um it's just I, I, I haven't got like a dark cardigan that I can just throw over you know when I'm going to work it gets it's still a little bit chilly so I popped in this clothes shop in the village but they didn't have but I picked up a couple of t-shirts uh this is the brand Vero Moda EU Eco label I've got an XL in like this nice red it's like a Breton uh, just because I'm actually short of um, like cash t-shirts and then this was randomly hung up on its own somewhere so I asked the shop assistant uh, it was a medium and I said well I could do with an XL because it was it looked a little bit slim fit anyway they only had a double XL which actually I held I've not tried them any of these on but I held it up against me and actually a double XL is better but isn't it nice I don't even know what it says genuine connections and honest energy but it's i like the pattern on it and it's got like really glittery gold just a nice cash a cash that was everything oh, i've got some got some underwear i don't think you need to see that and i just um those um those trainers those white trainers that i got from gabor I pulled the insoles out because they were really hurting me. They were very thick and like hard molded. So um, the shop assistant said just take them out. So I took them out and then I popped into the Van Haren, which is like a local, like a budget shoe shop. I think in the U I think in the UK it's Dykeman, is it or Deekman? I think it's the same kind of company. But they had um, they had these like really really thin uh insoles and they're machine washable they're like toweling i've got holes in them to breathe sorry i've drawn myself so um i don't even know how much they were about three or four euro so just i don't want to be they, they're feeling a little bit hard so just a little bit of cushioning in these shoes but i'm thrilled to bits with them they're really comfy right um that's everything i'm waffled out so i'm going to go and take my t-shirts upstairs i'm actually going to go and have a closer look in the mirror and it just it feels a little bit sunburnt, so I think I might uh I might put a cool pack on it. But uh so far so good. Anyway, actually before I go upstairs and have a good look, I'll do the, I'll do part two of the um laser video because it's not quite dark yet. I'll see you in a while. Good morning. I'm um it's I don't know if you can see it's 
really bright sunshine it's lovely i'm trying to get in a good angle uh we're expecting a high of 17 degrees today how lovely although i'm working um I just filmed day two of the uh, laser video and um, I've got a bit of redness. I've got no face makeup on at all, so no concealer, foundation, nothing. Uh, and I've got a very um, light um, moisturiser, so I haven't got my, you know, anti-aging, wrinkle, blah, 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 nothing. So um, I'm quite pleased with it. The little spider veins, some of them have gotten darker. I'm sorry, the sun's really bright. Uh, in areas which I was expecting and this dark one is you know from the naked eye is miles better this is still a bit puffy uh, as you can see I've just let my hair dry today um so I have woke up with a headache I don't know if it's related to the laser treatment or I'm just it's just one of my headaches because uh, I wake up quite often with them my neck's bothering me at the moment so um I just stuck a bit of mousse in my hair and left and, and give it a just give it <laughs> not even brushed it and that's your lot today um when my hair is longer i do often leave it to just dry on its own but uh, it's not curly as such it's just got this strange wave to it <laughs> and i only i only actually developed wavy hair uh when i was pregnant with joshua because before then i had poker straight hair so anyway, I'll stop waffling now. I'm going to go uh, get, grab a coffee, go upstairs, log on for the day. And um, yeah, it's a work day. Uh, Lawrence is working from home. Josh was free on a Thursday and uh, Will's um, off to school shortly. Oh yeah, yesterday, Josh was um, college. I don't know, it's not part of his study, but maybe they're doing it with like young um, adults. Maybe it's a government thing. If you're in, if you're Dutch, maybe you'll know this. But um they all went off to court yesterday and um, it was only for an afternoon and they had to sit in and listen to some um, crimes and some sentencing and um, he said yeah it was it was interesting but he's not studying law so I don't, <laughs> don't know why they did it but um, yeah it was uh, I'm glad he went I think um, the criminal justice system here is quite different to the UK I mean we've been to court um, several times i've i've spoke about this um a long long time ago that i had uh, like a child minder who stole all my jewelry <laughs> and it took years and other cases to um get it to court so we went to three different courts we went to like a local court then we went to like the city court and then we and then i think the case went to like the high court and that's when she was sentenced to nothing because it had gone on for so long and she was a mother with difficult children funny enough i knew her kids and they were fine they were all decked out in the latest gear because everything was stolen they were wild though anyway <laughs> waffle waffle um yeah so it, i found it really uh di different in that um we, we don't they don't tend to have i could be wrong but i've never seen that a court that you go in and there's a jury that doesn't seem to be a thing here. And in the UK, it is trial by jury. And uh, I think also in the US as well, maybe, maybe Canada, probably Australia, I would imagine. But yeah, they're like a closed court, but people, members of the public can, can go in. But I think it's like under special conditions, I think. Anyway, right, I'm stopping waffling. I'm going to get my coffee. I desperately need one. I'm so tired. Uh, tomorrow, I think, I think I'm going to meet Linda, I think, tomorrow, not seen her for ages, and then we're going out for dinner tomorrow night, we're actually going to Utrecht, uh, we've been saying it for ages, the, the guys who own um, the um, the bakery, the South African bakery in Utrecht, we've become really good friends with them, and um, Lawrence has been saying for ages, like, you should just go out for dinner, so um, he, um, he, to have a chat with them and we're going out for dinner with them tomorrow night that will be fun nice for Lawrence as well having some sappers around him um anyway but all that will I'll talk about that maybe tomorrow or in next week's vlog right I'm gonna get a coffee I'll see you in a while good morning uh, I'm on the way to meet Linda um I didn't have time to fill my um next segment of the uh laser treatment I've got a little bit of only a little bit of makeup on my chin and I would say, I think it's about 50% improved 
so I could she did say to me the lady at the clinic I could anything between one and three sessions so I'm not concerned but um I'm actually really happy with the results and it seems weird it's still it's still red but I've I've got like uh these like four brown spots and another here like they're little like a scorch mark it's fine so obviously it's gonna I think it's gonna be a good week before I know that's that's how much that treatment's worth so yeah but I'm really pleased with it and it's so weird when I look in the mirror to see I can see like tiny little patches of like the same skin tone as the rest of my face because I'm so used to my chin being that red for as long as I can even remember so and what was really fun she sent me um she took a photo before we did the treatment of my chin not of the ones on my cheek though but anyway they even though they were deeper the chin ones were more noticeable anyway um and I said oh could you uh I asked her could you send me the photo so I got the photo yesterday and obviously it's under a ring light you know so it's like the worst representation of your, of your chin you can imagine it's like everything's lit up but my god I was actually shocked at how how bad it was it was my whole chin was just um a map of uh, little red veins so um what I'll do when um when I've co when I'm completely finished with the treatment and then that's when the video uh, only about the veins will be um will be um posted i'll also include the before and after photos because then with that before photo my gosh woof. anyway waffle waffle uh, i've done my hair a little bit differently today um i couldn't be bothered washing and blow drying it again i've literally just wet it a bit this morning this is how it was i think did i did i talk to you on camera yesterday i don't even know if you can see it's 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 overcast but the sun keeps trying to come out anyway um and I just didn't know what to do with it. So I've literally, and I woke up that half of my fringe was like, just stuck up anyway. You know, like something about Mary. And I thought, you know what, Dawn, just go with it. So I've stuck a bit of um, gel on it and uh, I've just clipped it back behind one ear. You know, not seen a brush for two days now, but anyway, it's fine. But um, I was really laughing when, um, when I did it like this, I really laughed myself because it reminded it reminds me of how my hair used to be in the eighties. Like my hair was just like this, and um, my friend Joanne also had hair like this. And I used to put, if you're in the UK, you'll laugh at this. Like nearly half a can of insect hairspray uh, every time we went out anywhere, and my hair was just like this. So funny. Well, you know, 90s, 80s, or back in fashion, maybe I'm hip again. <laughs> a hip old lady with a bad hip. Anyway, waffle, waffle. Um, right, let's uh, head into Amstrain. Hopefully I'm not late. Um, should be on time. And I might, depending if it's going to rain, I might have a walk around. I think, oh, I've got an umbrella with me. Um, oh, yeah. The other thing, I've been watching the news about the in the British news about the body shop that they've been closing shops everywhere, and it's happened here. Um, I haven't. Uh, there was one shop open in Utrecht when we went last weekend, but there wasn't a lot of stock on the shelf, and I've run out of my um, chamomile eye makeup remover, which I've used since I was in my late teens, I think. Almost whenever they released it maybe not released it because I was probably too young then but as long as I've been um wearing makeup which is in my teens then I've been using that eye makeup remover anyway uh, they didn't have it in Utrecht uh I had a look online the one in Amstelveen that I'm going to now also closed so Hofdorp's closed that closed a long time ago um Amstelveen's closed and I thought well I'll just order it online the website's down so I hope that's not the end of the product itself maybe they're just in administration or i don't know doing something but um and i can you know if they have an online presence you know that's also fine although 
kind of goes against the grain because you know doing only online um shopping not good for the carbon footprint is it anyway right i am going to stop waffling i'll um if i buy anything or um you know i've got anything interesting to waffle about i'll uh, pop back on camera later see you in a while I am exhausted. It's one o'clock and I'm absolutely shattered. And I, I, I know probably lucky as well. I could just go and lie down in bed. This is really not normal. Anyway, uh, I bought a couple of things. Had a lovely catch up with Linda. And um, we had a couple of cappuccinos and a bit of cake in the cafe. Uh, I needed that, um, that primer I bought from Benefit. It's not an eye primer, but I was going to use it as an eye primer. It's not good for my eyes. So I went to... Uh, Kiko or Kaiko uh, to buy some um, eye primer. This is, if you have problems with like your mascara and eyeliner going on the top of your lid, which happens with older eyes, then I recommend invest in um, an eye primer. Not a primer, an eye primer, and it just fixes everything. So this is the one that I get from Kaiko or Kiko. It's, they do two, one's like a shimmer and one's neutral. And I just take a tiny, tiny amount. I'll show you how much I use for both eyes. Hold on. Ooh, it's new, so it's not coming out yet. Yeah. Okay. That's how much I use. And actually that's a lot for two eyes. And you can see it's... um. A little goes a long way and that's what I use on both eyes now I need something to wipe my fingers um, so that's what I went in for but then of course the shop assistant told me that it was an offer on and then I started browsing and then I bought stuff that I don't actually really need but anyway I bought it um, I've got the I have got uh, like a powder foundation that I bought from the Hamer a while ago and it's really really good but it's not the right shade so I thought oh I'll just have a look spoke to the shop assistant so I've got this uh, weightless perfection wet and dry powder foundation so it's not um, full coverage and this I've got shade I can't see N80 and this this is what it looks like it's got a little no, I won't. that's not a mirror. Definitely not a mirror. <laughs> uh, and then this is the pal the, the little sponge. And then, oh, when you flip it up. Oh, yeah, then there's a mirror there. And that's the powder. Uh, the reason I fancied trying it, when uh, when I was in... Um, when I was in Kenya and we didn't have any makeup or luggage with, with us, my colleague bought this kind of thing and we shared it between us and it was actually really good so i won't wear it every day because i don't I, this is exactly why i'm have i have my chin lasered i don't like wearing foundation but just now and again you know if i'm going like out out then it's just nice to wear you know a bit more makeup something that will sit uh, i am quite partial to a lip liner the two the two what touches is here what did we mean Trey Bollitures. Sorry, William's just sent an app. So um, this is a Everlasting Colour Precision Lip Liner and in the shade 504. So um, I don't like the ones that you sharpen yourself. So I've got this is the shade, which is a nice pinky plummy colour. So it's one of those retractable. And then apparently I asked the girl, I said, what's this for? And she said, uh, Oh, and it's got a built-in sharpener with it anyway. Uh, if you want to, it's like a little silicone thing. If you want to smudge your lip liner, that must be a hip thing at the moment. I shall not be smudging my lip liner. 
and again as you know i only wear lipstick when i'm going to work and i apply it in the morning and if it lasts it lasts put some on today because i was going to meet linda then i got a free gift and i could choose from a lot of stuff i didn't know what to choose so i ended up with this uh matte lip 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 lips oh liquid matte liquid lip color jeez i can't even read uh and this is in shade 05 mauve i think it's too dark i was overwhelmed i just went for it so that's what it is and actually that's nice it's like a cinnamon color quite nice even though I look washed out like a ghost so tired so a little makeup haul uh, and then of course I went to the wool the dirt wool man the wool man that's literally what his store is called and uh, had a quick mooch like you do um, that if you're not into knitting sorry about this the uh, area shawl that I'm knitting it's working up nice, but I'm just not into the colours. So I asked him what he had, because uh, sports weight and worsted weight are not things, that's not really a, a common weight in the Netherlands and probably Europe. So there was an Elise, um, like a wool acrylic blend that he had. He said this is a, this would be good for a sport weight. Uh, but he didn't have the base colour of cream that I wanted. He only had one, so I'll go back for that next week. But, of course, whilst I was there, I bought a few things. So, uh, this is new. Uh, Shapier's Katona Chroma, which is the cotton. And apparently, every colour that's in it, they have a solid colour from it. I thought it was really nice. I think for dishcloths, knitted dishcloths. Christmas. So, of course, I bought some wool. And then the other thing, I've got mine too. I'm almost finished with uh self patterning socks i've been knitting and i just fancy knitting some solid color socks but with a nice pattern in in it uh that's what i fancy doing i have four ply or sock yarn coming out of my ears really i have loads but i don't have many solid colors so i thought right i'm gonna buy a couple of yarns a couple of ske skeins of solid uh, and this is from Elise Superwash Artisan. It's a unicolour. And 75% uh, wool, 25%... Oh, I can't see it. Well, it's polymede or... Yeah, polymede. 75% Superwash, 25% polymede. This shade is... Colour B7, no, 873, sorry, I haven't got my glasses on, 873. And this shade is 274. So I've got this nice, like, sage green and then this nice forest green. Uh, that's the label. So this one is 274. So I'm going to look for a pattern, what I fancy. Uh, and then... I thought I'd forgotten my reading glasses and what do you know I found them on the passenger seat of the car but I thought whilst I'm there my, I buy these I just buy these off the shelf reading glasses and the ones that I'm wearing all the time I think they were like a couple of euro from the action I really like them but the arms are getting loose so it's like any day now they're gonna break so I had a quick look in the Hamer and uh they had these really nice reading glasses they were like nine euro either 1.5 so um I tried a load on and I thought, oh, I'll just take the plastic off. Have I got any scissors lying around? No, what do you know? I haven't. Let's see if I can get these off. Off oh, the tear the card. Yeah, that's done it. So, I don't normally go for a metal frame. They look like they're not, they're a bit bent. I might have to. So, what do you think? I can see myself. I couldn't see myself before. A bit orangey that i don't know if i like it but anyway these glasses are nice they're quite cute a little bit different 
can see now. Uh, and then, so I've just arrived home and there was a package waiting for me. Next. Uh, which, whenever the summery stuff comes out, I grab them super quick because I need extra wide shoes. And I was eyeing these up last year and didn't get them. So they have them again. They're leather. Uh, let me open them. They're just like a flip flop, a sandal. They're forever comfort, forever comfort, extra wide. And it is black, but it is like it's a bit of a brown tone to it. So I've just got these for the summer. Uh, don't know how much they were. They don't have the price on them, what do you know? But they're leather. Uh, and I want to say they're about 30 euro or something like that. So I thought these would be great for summer. Because I live in Havianas, but sometimes I just need, I need like a, a slip on, a, a flip flop kind of thing. But a, just a little bit dressier, so. You know, for going out for a um, dinner or a party or something. So these are just like little one step up. Oh, and then I bought one other thing. I'm still on the hunt for a dark cardigan. I couldn't find one, but I saw this actually off the market. This is a stall. They've been there forever. Two guys run it. I think they're friends. And I thought it was really nice. Uh, it's 25 euro. It's like a kimono, but a, like a three quarter length. So perfect perfect summer cardigan and i'll probably also wear this for work so yeah really really pleased with that one size fits all now i can't see because i've got these glasses on so yeah i'll have this for years it's cotton right i think oh, look at my hair i look like i've been dragged through a hedge backwards uh <laughs> i think i'm gonna wrap up this week's vlog I don't know how long it is. I don't know what I've been waffling about. Um, I must remember to film a little bit about how the laser situation is today. We'll see. I'll keep you all posted on that. And then hopefully in a month or two, there'll be another video coming out only about the laser uh, treatment. And uh, I think that was everything. So I think I already mentioned we're going out this evening to Utrecht for dinner. I and mean, Lawrence has just remembered, he'd forgot. So I think I'm going to wrap up this week's weekly vlog. So if it was the first time stopping by and you haven't done so already, or you've been watching me for a while and you haven't done so already, please, please, can you hit the subscribe button and join our lovely community. And if you're an OG, a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Thank you to everyone for all your ongoing support. Um, really, I know I say this a lot, but you know, you guys mean so much to me and I get so much enjoyment out of this channel and the community and also my other channel, uh, which is all crafty related stuff. So thank you once again. Don't forget, uh, you can also hit the thumbs up or down. If you hit down, please don't come back. Go and find someone else to watch. But they all help uh, the YouTube algorithms. And um, there's also, if it is the first time stopping by, there's a playlist which goes every single weekly vlog in the last four years are in the same playlist. So you can watch me from uh, years ago. I think it's about four, four or five years ago now. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. The quality of my filming and editing is slowly improving year by year. The early years, whoo, very dodgy. But anyway, maybe you're in the mood for a marathon, a binge watch. Right, I'm going to wrap up now. Take care, stay safe, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.